Now let's review our figure 3-3 uh, and 3-4, which deals with uh, sizing cable trays. Begin your study uh, on uh, page 3-14 uh, through uh, to page uh, 3-16. Now, you're either dealing with multiple conductor cables or single conductor cables or maybe both. But now, let's review uh, our figure 3-3 uh, on page 3-15. It's uh, on the left-hand side of the page. And then notice we're dealing with multiple conductor cables, such as outlined at the very top of the cable tray. And we have uh, single conductor uh, uh, cables uh, in the figure 3-4. But right now, we just want to deal with multiple conductor cables. And then notice that we uh, have uh, listed there a four alt uh, in larger conductors and the cross-sectional, uh, well it's really not cross-sectional there, it's the diameter is uh, 12.6. Now uh, on the uh, right hand side we have those multiple conductor cables which are smaller uh, than 4 alt, and we have a listing of uh, 22 square inches is the total. Now they're giving you the square inch area, you're not even figuring them up. All you have to do is go to the table and select the appropriate cable tray size. So in step one, the 4 alt and smaller, the square inch area is already given. But to uh, in the diameter, a four alt and larger is given as a 12.6, uh, excuse me, is the diameter. Now, in uh, step uh, two, uh, uh, we would review 392.22A1C. And notice the four alt and smaller, the square inch area is given. But for the four alt and larger, we would take the uh, square inch area times 1.2 and convert uh, that uh, uh, diameter, excuse me, into square inch area. And then we come up with a total of 37.12 square inch area. Now in step three, we are uh, going to the table and the table is 392.22A uh, column two and the section number will actually give you which table and column you're in. So it's very simple to follow. Just uh, go through the text and read it, and you'll see that it's pretty easy to select it. Now, based upon 37.12 square inch area, we would select a 30 inch uh, width cable tray, which would uh, house and support 42 inches. So we know then that the 36 inch width cable tray would be the size cable tree that we would need and the solution. Now, going over to our figure 3-4 at the very top of the cable tray, uh, we find single conductor cables. Now notice there that we uh, have uh, listed there uh, 14 uh, 300 KC mill conductors. Uh, THHN rated, uh, and then the cables next to those uh, cables are 10 1,000 uh, KC mil THHN copper conductors, and the sections are given there uh, underneath, uh, underneath each uh, type of cable. And then notice that we need to review the danger for the high voltage sign that is legal for signage, and notice those sections are listed right there for you. And then notice in step one, we take the 300 KC mil THHN, uh, and it's uh, 4606.4606 .4606 square inch area. The 1000 KC mil is uh, basically uh, 1.3476. Eight square inch area and notice these square inch areas are obtained from table 5 to chapter 9 uh, based upon the KCML rating of the wire, the size of the wire and the uh, insulation surrounding the wire. 
Now, in step two, those values are added together, and we come up with a total of uh, 19.9292 square inch area. Step three now, we have to review the table uh, 392.22B1, uh, which is uh, uh, column two, and that square inch area, area excuse me, requires 20 inch width cable tray. So the 20 inch width cable tray when reviewed would hold 21.5. So that would definitely hold the step two calculation of 19.9292 square inch area. So the solution is a 20 inch width cable tray.